Can we be honest with this Diddy situation, bro? Now, a lot of y'all got y'all own formulated opinions. A lot of y'all think he's guilty, cool, and all that. I don't go in on y'all. I look at it as y'all got a right to get engaged and believe what you want to believe. But just don't come at me on what I want to believe. See, a lot of these things being said about Diddy, as far as the sexual acts of with dudes, females, and other things like that, I believe, I believe it. What I don't believe is him doing it with underage. What I don't believe is he forced anybody to do anything illegal with him. I don't. What I when I hear all these accusations on Diddy is it's basically just the fact that Diddy is probably gay. You feel me? And last time I checked, that's not illegal. Other than that, I haven't really heard anything overwhelmingly, nor have we seen anything to make Diddy guilty. Just like the Kel situation. R. Kelly, the only thing I know he's guilty for, to be honest with you, that could be proven without a doubt is the Aaliyah situation. But if it's not baby girl, which rest in peace to Aaliyah, we're not trying to hear all that because what they got R. Kelly for was a cult. Basically, getting grown women, flying them to wherever he was at, and having sex with them or whatever. This is consensual sex, too. They didn't even lie about it on the paperwork. I think some of y'all don't even read the paperwork. The media is your voice. Fake outrage is your voice. And because you watch some of these celebrities like Casey, which I still haven't never been a fan of her music. I'm not going to lie. People like that taking the bag and you prop them up as some type of victims. No, when you accept the lawsuit, I'm sorry, bro. I don't believe you. And hearing Casey's story, what, what did you do to be subjugated to something that was forced? It seems everything was the action of what you agreed to do. So do I believe Casey and all the things she said sexually with her and Diddy? Yes. But he didn't have a gun to your head. You was a grown woman. Even when you were young too, you still was an adult. I don't care what anybody tells me. We got dudes who's only 16 years old that y'all clap for when the magistrate gives them life. Now, all of a sudden, Casey at 20 something, maybe even 19 or whatever. She's not smart enough to think for herself. The dude, Little Rod, who seems the most laughable dude in all of this. Sounds like for years, Diddy been flirting with him. He didn't know whether to like it or not. And he just held on to a lot of this. He waited his moment and pop goes the weasel. Hold on, man. I got to take a smoke break for this, man. We make excuses for all of these people. I seen on Cam Compone News interviewing a former bodyguard, another one, not Jeannie Dill, because <coughs> Jeannie Dill seems like a disgruntled worker. You feel me? Jeannie Dill seems like somebody, if all these things was true that happened, you should be arrested as an accessory, bro. I'm going to say it. You should be an accessory, bro, to all these so-called alleged murders you bring up. All these things, bro. And y'all champion Jeannie Dill as if he's some good citizen that broke the news on this, that broke the news. That man been talking about the Diddy situation for years now, man. Oh, oh, I see everything coming real now. Like, huh? And then other people who've been talking about it is Diddy's ops. All these people in almost 30 years, don't nobody got any real proof besides he say, she say? What are we, in kindergarten? Let's get back to the other bodyguard. There was another bodyguard talking about he seen Diddy in the kitchen doing this. It just seemed like a lot of weird things. Like, all these grown men and women should be arrested, bro. If what y'all say is true, y'all should be arrested for being freaks and, and allowing other people to be victims, allegedly, because your freak nature didn't want to, you know, cry wolf or whatever, man. It, it, it's too much, man. It's like, with us... We're the biggest monsters in the world and all that. But when the Mayo Nation does all that, and I'm not trying to make it a race matter. I see it clear as hell, bro. The other nations, the news don't even like talking about their own kind being in these situations. Nothing. It's like they're protected or something. But we the only ones. We on social media. We're on Instagram. We're on IG. Bro, Instagram is the worst, bro. You should see them people on Instagram. You, the fake outrage they got as if they were there. 
as if they were in a Diddy party and the same thing happened to them. Seemed like a lot of fallacies from these people, bro, who want to be with the Pharisees. I'm not, I hate to go scripture. It's a lot of Pharisees who's supposed to be part of our nation. And y'all just, bro, like, I understand when the most high wrote in scripture, two thirds of our people won't be here, bro. We won't. You, with the subconsciousness of a young adolescent, you won't understand what I'm saying. You'll cry a river and say, I'm protecting Kells and I'm protecting Diddy. That's what you're going to say. Even with the sex tapes allegedly that were found, unless Diddy was forcing somebody into it or recording them without permission, unless they come out with that, I'm not trying to hear none of that, bro. He's a freak, bro. I'm not surprised. Most of you people in Hollywood are sick and got all type of different nature of things and unseen things we don't want to really see. But that's the problem. A lot of you people just find it juicy entertainment. So if you do a fake outrage, you get to look like some type of hero or something like that. It's just weird vibes, bro. And none of y'all ask, where is this hardcore evidence? Y'all over-exaggerated when, when the raid happened. You would think they found so much evidence on Diddy and everything. By, by the way, you people were speaking and celebrities who ain't relevant trying to be relevant again are now trying to speak about it. You would think Diddy about to, you feel me, be under the prison, bruh. They didn't have no charges, nor they had any warrant for his arrest. They only had a warrant to check his uh, 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 database and hard drives. You feel me? That's it. They did so much things illegal in that raid, and y'all support that, bro. I don't care about Diddy, bro, but I care about what's right and what's wrong, bro. I really do, bro. I'm not out here to save the world. You can't, bro. This thing is going to be messed up for at least the next 300 years. If we still have this world, it ain't going to be fixing it. So you think I'm one of these unre unrealistic, woke people, bruh? What is this wokeness, bruh? F all that, bruh. I see what's going on in my face, bro. Just like Kells and R. Kelly, what they're about to be, well, Diddy about to be in trouble for is what Kells got in trouble too. It was nothing to do with underage. It was because they took grown women from a different state and brought them to their state's location and had sex with them. Consensual sex. According to the government, that's illegal. That's what they got R. Kelly for too. Even some of his charges was thrown out. Y'all didn't even get into that. But, well, again, just like y'all said, Bill Cosby did X, Y, and Z. You talking about what Bill Cosby did with grown women consensual? Bill Cosby is sometimes, he might be a pervert, but no, he is not no Geppetto or none of that. Like, But the media once again got into y'all. Oh, Bill Cosby said he slips the things in their drink. First of all, everybody in their mama was doing Quaaludes back then. You know, the way y'all burned some za. That's what, what Quaalude was to that celebrity culture. Nothing was hidden to them. They welcomed that and asked for it like it was another za they were smoking on or something, bro. And the second one I wanted to speak on was when he was speaking to Larry King. Rest in peace to that great Larry King. He publicly talked about Spanish flying women drink, and that's what y'all lost y'all minds over. Like, wait a minute, Spanish fly doesn't make you uncoherent. Spanish fly doesn't break you down, and now you can't even speak anymore. You feel me? Hey, close that door. Spanish fly doesn't do any of the above, bro. You feel me? Spanish fly ain't what you think, bro. Spanish fly, I don't even think it really make people get, you know, in like a, a, a horny sensation or something like that. But y'all act like he was guilty of everything because he said the word Spanish fly. Meanwhile, Hollywood got all these Mayo people who have their own islands, allegedly, to do these things. They got their own studios. You feel me? It's called sitting at the couch to get that next movie role. All type of obscene things, but... Melanated people don't care about that. It's more juicier to the whole entire world, not just us, but the whole entire world to look at a black man and a black woman going through things like this. Meanwhile, it's a lot of their teachers touching. Yeah, do X, Y, Z all day on the news every day. But it gets talked about for like one day barely. And the news goes, the news team goes to the next story that consists of you and me. It's brain frequencies, bro. This is very true. The same people who don't believe what I'm saying or the same ones talking about red conspiracies or whatever just crap conspiracies but you're the one the same ones that i'll say oh i'm i'm it's far-fetched to believe that this systematic system doesn't use any frequencies to embed propaganda in our minds over and over to the point you're subjugated to whatever prowls they have over you bro not power but prowls bro we're not gonna get into that man I, at the end of the day i feel like 
that he is innocent until proven guilty unless one of you weird people and i don't think to the people who think get uh diddy is guilty i don't think you're a weirdo or none of that it's the people who get mad at people like me and think we don't have a right to say he's innocent if you're so upset with me show the proof of where he's guilty at don't give me nobody doing interviews don't give me no disgruntled bodyguards like genie deal like genie deal just been embarrassing himself bro i should make a video about that but i ain't got no beef with homie but he's been eating food on diddy while pretending to care about y'all and y'all act like he's some type of hero that man whole youtube platform should call bad boy entertainment bro get the hell out of here with it bro none, none of you people fool me bro i am one of y'all bro so you can't fool me, bro. Takes one to know one. Not that activities y'all do, but being melanated, bro. I know the pain y'all go through. So anything as form of entertainment, it feels good. Any form of attention, you feel loved and cared, even though nobody's in your life, which I'm not saying that's a good thing, but that's that's what it is pretty much. Your whole channel, bruh, is the Diddy channel. That's it, bro. Every day, Diddy this, Diddy that. We should check your computers, bruh. We should start looking at your background, Genie Dill. A man of the law, but was around so much of X, Y, and Z. Make that make sense, bruh. Too much of y'all out here just looking. To, look, man, if you mad at me, man, get in line, bruh. Show some proof or whatever. I could care less about Diddy or whatever. Do I believe Diddy sleeps with men and women at the same time and all that? Pretty much. If All these stories can't be lies as far as the sexual part. I believe them. But did Diddy do anything to these people by force or whatever? Negative. That's full contact lies, bruh. Pause. The only thing I can see Diddy did physically to them was touching their four points of contact. Now, you go Google what that is. Salute to all my vets out there, man. Look, man, I'm DJ Bless, one of the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. I'm going to keep doing the jokes about no Diddy and all that, but y'all know me already, bro. I'm not calling this man guilty of nothing until the courts, until the so-called victims, until y'all show proof without a burden of doubt that this man did is this so-called monster y'all trying to claim him to be. Nice try. You already did that to Cosby, and the Supreme Court had to come out and help out and be like, man, what is y'all doing? Don't waste my time. Everything about this case, none of y'all really care about for victims. It's everything to get money, attention, different type of forms of entertainment, bro. That's all it is. Everybody who have the fake outrage, they're probably a content creator getting some money out of it. And if they're not a content creator, they love the madness, especially someone who's at the top who gets to fall beneath for some reason. People at a certain level love when people come back to their level. I could care less. But let me know in the comment sections what you think. Love your family. Love your kids. And genuinely, stay blessed, man.